All right. Hey there. Come here often? Yeah, me neither. So you're probably wondering why I have all this on my desk. And today we're talking about what I think is the most underrated bag in the industry and what I keep in my range bag. So. The first spear, skirmisher bag. Let's start with the bag first and then I'll show you what I carry inside of it. So this is the first spear skirmisher training bag. Uh, it's a full nylon bag, it's got padding inside of it. Um, so one of the great things about this bag is you've got multiple ways to carry it. So you've got top handle with Velcro you can undo. There is a side handle, so if you're like a really wide dude, carrying it like this isn't gonna work. Uh, you can turn it, makes it a little bit slimmer, getting through doorways or getting in and out of cars or whatever. But it's also got these backpack straps. Now these are all on uh, like G hooks, so they quickly come off on both sides. So I don't typically carry it as a backpack, but there's been instances where I have. So like, for instance, um, we're at a steel match. I'll take this bag out. I can put two or three guns in it, holsters, ammo, everything that I need in there. And then I'll just throw it on like a backpack, walk from one stage to the next. Because at the steel matches I go to, they're all in like different bays set up and you don't have to reset steel. So you just walk from one to the next, but they can be spaced out pretty far. So it's kind of a hassle. And you see the guys with their buggies or they use like uh, like baby strollers and they throw all their stuff on it. and. That's cool, but it's just so much easier just to do this. Um, and sometimes the, you know, if it's real muddy out there or whatever, I don't want to be pushing stuff through there. And I just take this one range to the next, set it up on the table, shoot the stage. The top one, you have one that goes around here uh, and it's a padded handgun. So carry my Tri-11 in there. Um, it's clear, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, there's two more, so you have one on this side as well. Another gun in there if, you, if you'd like. Uh, you can also store phone, wallet, keys, whatever in there. And then you're going to have one right here. So you can carry three handguns. You can put other stuff in there. If you have an IR laser, take it off, put it in there. It's padded. It'll protect it. Um, there's a big compartment in the back. Um, I'll show you that guys that in a minute. So you have another compartment here. Um, so you'll probably notice a little bit of a discoloration here. Um, I use this bag to prop up to shoot off of for the 13.9 video. Uh, so... We just we don't talk about that. Uh, anyways, so just this is like an admin pocket. So what I keep in here is all my stuff that I need that I get to pretty quick and use pretty often. So I've got a shot timer in here uh, because speed. Um, field notes. I keep just uh, drills in there. So what we do is just like if I think of a drill or I see somebody else run a drill, um, I'll write it down and make sure I know like what the distances are, how many rounds we are, and then like a target time. And that's all like all in there. Um, Spare batteries for this shot timer. Ear Pro, so when I get to the range, I can put them in real quick because guys are usually already out there shooting. Um, lens wipe because glasses. Also good for optics. Um, this little pouch is actually a camera bag, but uh, this is kind of like my uh, little go-to uh, toolkit or, or just, just random items so I don't have them scattered everywhere. Uh, but I'll show you what I got in there. So Sharpies, marking targets. Um, gold Sharpie because there was a time when I had to mark my own mags and they weren't all cool and lasered. Um, BZ Grips uh, bottle opener as well as a uh, bushing tool. So did a, talked about this in a previous video. Um, multitasker, multi-tool, along with the bits. Extra BCG. So the reason I carry an extra BCG is because sometimes guys will have a BCG go down I've never had an issue with mine, but it's I've seen it happen to other guys, and you hate to see somebody's like range day just come to an end because an extractor broke or um, like whatever. So I just carry an extra one just in case. Um, lock tight because people forget to tighten their stuff down. Um, front sight tool. What else? Uh, these are for scale works. Um, Paint pin to, so when we put stuff on, we want to mark it and make sure that it's not coming loose as we're shooting. So I've had seen front sights come off because as they're shooting, the, the bolts is slowly back out. And this just allows you to identify that really quick before it starts rattling around. Uh, this, so this is actually something I recommend for a lot of people to pick up. It is actually a park tool, chain ring tool. So this is actually a bicycle tool. Fun fact, I used to be a bike mechanic. Um, but a lot of your uh, screws and nuts that are on your holsters or on belts and different things like that, the washers that are, that are flat and round, and they have kind of like a flat spot, but they don't quite fit a flat head. This is actually the tool to hold that to tighten. Those are actually chain ring uh, screws is what they are. Well, so they're designed after. Uh, but this tool is designed specifically for that. Um, that's why it has these three little prongs right here. 
So it sits in there, whatever, holds it. So recommend that. And this is just a little think tank bag, cable. It's actually a cable management bag, but I had an extra one. Threw all this junk in there. Uh, what else? Okay. So down here you have another pouch, another little like little admin pouch. And what I've got in here, this is more of like stuff that isn't necessarily essential that I need right away, but it's something that I may need. Uh, so that's why it's down at the bottom. Also, uh, since it is at the bottom of the bag, if I set it down, it's not. There's nothing in there that's breakable. Uh, ear Pro. So electronic Ear Pro. Actually, these don't even work anymore. Uh, I broke these out in Vegas. But inside, I've got some Surefire Ear Pro. So I always keep a couple pairs with me just in case. Uh, first pair of gloves uh, because you never know when you need them. I had a bad incident where I was an idiot and didn't put gloves on. Decided we were on a rope climb. I was just gonna, you know, go down as fast and try to fast rope down and. Uh, burned off part of my hand. Uh, extra Edgar Sherman sling for other guys. Sometimes their slings break or they didn't bring a sling or um, on my 13.9, I don't always have the sling on there, especially if we're shooting in like a two gun competition. And I just keep this in there so that if I just grab the gun on the way out, um, the sling's already with me. I don't have to worry about not having it. So uh, that's that stuff. All right. So these two pockets right here, these two, are mirrored, they do the same thing. I've just got them set up different just for me, but you can set up however you want. Uh, so one of the things I love about this bag is that it comes with these little things. So they're hook and loop on the back and they've got this bungee cord that runs through and you set them up to hold your mags like this. And I love this because one of the things I can do is I can take this and throw it on the inside of my safe and they're just sitting there ready to go. So if I have like, so if I'm running a Glock one day and I'm not bringing my Tri-11, I just grab the Glock mags. Or if I'm running Tri-11, I just grab the Tri-11 mags or grab rifle mags, whatever, but it just keeps them organized. Um, so they hold four in each. Um, so I usually carry a few more than four mags because the skirmishes sometimes require five mags. So I've got a couple extra mags just laying around in there. Um, so, but as you can see, Tri-11 mags, rifle mags, you can keep them loaded, whatever, but easy way to organize mags. I like it. Those down there. Uh, and then it's got hook and loop on the inside, so they just sit on there. Um, and that's that pouch. On the other side, what we got in here, um, again, it's mirrored, so you can put more of those in here, but what I have in here is more like stuff when we're setting up targets. So I've got some uh, Sly Tactics uh, Zero, and then um, just some training targets that he has. They're all free on uh, SlyTactics.com, or SlyTact Training, whatever it is. But Brian's so handsome, and he makes good targets, so. Uh, paint because TA targets, uh, so shout out TA targets, make awesome targets. Uh, staple gun because cardboard too. Um, normally what's in here that I don't have in here right now is cones. So I usually have a, a little thing of orange cones in there, but somebody, Sam, lost those cones, but it's fine. And then uh, you hear that rattling around in the middle part of this bag is a little zipper, uh, it's a little ammo pouch. So if you forget to unload a mag or whatever, or you just have some spare ammo you wanna throw in there. So sometimes what I'll do is like, uh, if we're going out training and I know we're gonna shoot 250 rounds or 300 rounds or five, whatever, I'll load my mags full of that and then I'll just dump whatever I need on top of that in this middle pouch and then I can load out of there. That way I don't have to carry an ammo can, but most of the time I just have an ammo can, just or a couple ammo cans in the back of my truck and I just leave those in there so that I never have to worry about counting rounds or anything like that. Uh, so that's. The main, or like the, yeah, the, all the small compartments, what you'll notice right here, so what you'll notice right here is uh, we have this big zipper that goes, uh, it's like halfway around it at an angle, and what's in there is actually a rifle. So it fits a broken down rifle. So I've got my 10.5 in there, um, and then there's the upper. So all in one bag, um, I can fit everything I need for a range day, uh, aside from belt and plate carrier. But you know, there aren't any range bags that carry all that, and this bag isn't that big. So, um, all right. So there you go. Uh, so I got my 10.5 in there, um, and I can fit everything I need for a range day uh, in this bag, and that makes it really convenient for me because. Uh, the thing that I love about this bag is that, one, I can fit all my gear in there, right? So all my gear fits in it. I can carry my rifle, I can carry pistols, uh, I can carry ammo, mags, all my uh, miscellaneous items, they're all in one bag. And then secondly, the bag doesn't look like a range bag, right? So if we're out somewhere and I've got it in the back of my truck or somebody sees it or whatever, 
it doesn't look, it doesn't scream out tactical. It doesn't scream out that it's a gun bag. It just looks like an oversized backpack. It is a little bit big to be like a discreet bag, so I'm in no means is it that, but it is an excellent range bag. And I, I put all my gear in there. I got all my stuff in there. And then what I'll do is, uh, if I don't feel like breaking the rifle down, I'll just set it here like it is. And then Velcro these two over the top of it. And then I just carry it around like that. Um, but if, you get, if you're looking for something that has like carries plate carrier and helmet and belts and all that, you're gonna have like one of those big Pelican cases. Uh, but if you are just running to the range with just, you know, you throw your belt over this or whatever, or you got it on or just carry it. Uh, but this carries almost everything. And that's what I love about this bag, because I hated going to the range. Like, we've all been there, like, going to the range, and you've got your rifle bag. Then you've got an ammo bag, or you've got, like, a small range bag that's got pistols and all that. And then you've got ammo cans, and then you have your rifle bag, or whatever else you're carrying. And it's just, you're making two or three trips back and forth uh, from the truck. Or, and then you get there, and then you've got to unload and carry all of it to the range if you can't park close. Or, you know, it's just, it's, it's a hassle. And so for me to be able to throw everything in one bag, to grab it, get out the door and go to the range. Like that's super simple for me. It doesn't take up a lot of space in the truck. Has, leaves me plenty of space for uh, gun racks, leaves me space for targets, leaves me space. Um, so if we're taking weights and we're doing some training out there or whatever, like that leaves me so much more room in my truck. Um, so before I had what I have now, I used to have this really small compact car. Space was really important. So I couldn't afford to have three or four bags just to go to the range. So this made my life a lot easier. And then travel on top of that. So if you're flying, to be able to take this, throw it in a Pelican case, and then go. Like this will fit in a Pelican rifle case. Um, if you are taking a Pelican case and you're traveling with plates or you're traveling with a helmet or any of that, just throw this at the bottom, put the plates on top, put your belt on top, helmet on top, all fits in there nice and neat. You just grab it out and, and you move on. So um, I think it's one of the most underrated bags in the industry. It's my favorite bag of any, any gun bag that I've used. It is a little pricey. It's right around $300, I think 314, something like that on their website. Um, so that, that is a little pricey, but considering that you're combining two or three bags into one bag, I think it's fairly priced. And so I, I got to talk to the guys. So I've been using this bag for almost a year now, and I got to talk to the guys at First Spear. I'm like, dude, this bag's amazing. How come you guys don't push this more? How come you don't? How come I don't see it more? And they're like, we're just not a bag company. Like we, we, We're more into like the plate carrier and mag pouches and all. Like That's our bread and butter. So like this was a cool design that we made, but it, we just don't push it a lot. But so... I was like, man, people need to know, like, this is, this is a great bag. So I highly recommend it uh, if you're looking for a new bag or if you're looking to downsize from two or three bags. Um, First Beer makes a couple of other great bags. Uh, this isn't sponsored in any way. Um, I just know from filming, I've gotten to see some of their, um, some of their other bags they make. They make a discreet bag. Doesn't really look discreet, so I wouldn't recommend that. But they do make, if you're look, looking for range-specific bags, they make those. I also have one of their rifle cases, which is, it's nice. I throw rifles in there all the time if I'm taking two or three with me. Um, but I love this skirmisher bag. It's great. It does everything that, that you need it to do. It carries all my gear. Um, and yeah, so there's that. Now I got to pack all this crap back in there. This is a poor decision. If you know of another bag that would be better than this, leave it in the comments below. Um, also, if there's something else you want to see reviewed, leave it in the comments below. I've got a few reviews coming out on some other, uh, items, some other things. I'm trying to get more into the gear side too as well as guns, uh, but yeah, leave it in the comments, let me know. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that like and subscribe. Karate chop that bell if you haven't already to get notified every time I upload a video, and I will see you guys in the next one. I gotta clean these guns, man. This was a poor decision. I should not have thrown this stuff out everywhere. Also, People always talk about that my guns are always clean, uh, that I never shoot them, that they're just there for video. But you can clearly see, that, I don't know if you can clearly see, but <laughs> these guns are dirty. They are, they are dirty. They've been shot, they get beat up, they get thrown around. This is new, I'm trying to get into night vision, so more videos than that coming. All right, time to clean this up. It's all black, right? <sighs> it's gonna be one of those days.